equilibrium on a rough plane inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal. Find R and F. Okay, so here is the diagram uh, for this situation. We need to find that normal reaction force R and the friction F, that force that is keeping uh, the object in place, okay, which is stopping it sliding down that plane. Okay, so let's divide the weight up into its two component parts. So we're going to have 10G sine. 30, so remember that's 30 degrees, and we've got 10g cosine 30, opposite adjacent. Okay, so if we resolve um, perpendicular to the plane first to find R, so I'm going to resolve perpendicular to the plane, okay, I'm going to abbreviate to just perpendicular now, um, I'm going to take that way as positive, so we're going to have R take away 10G cos 30 is equal to the mass times the acceleration. Well, it's not accelerating uh, perpendicular to the plane, so that would just be zero. So that means that R, if I take G as 9.8, is 10 times 9.8 times cosine of 30 degrees which is 49 root 3, so 84.87, so 85 newtons to two significant figures. Okay, that's my normal reaction force. Now, if I resolve parallel to the plane, if I take uh, the friction, so if that is positive, going up the plane, so I've got F, take away the 10g sine 30, the component of the weight, and because the particle is in, the object is in equilibrium, there is no acceleration here, and so mass times acceleration is zero, and so the frictional force is, de is just 10 times 9.8 times sine of 30, which is 49 newtons. Okay, so that is how I can work out frictional force and the normal reaction force for this object on a rough inclined plane.